Wunderbar. The Enuma Elish. What's the deal with that thing? I feel like the only place that ever talks about ba Babylonian Mesopotamian stuff is ancient aliens, probably. No, who else does, really? Who does? So, the Enuma Elish. Now, this means when in the heights. And this is in the Akkadian language. This is one of the ancient languages of Mesopotamia. But this is the creation myth, so it starts off with a primordial god, Apsu. And it's very reminiscent of Egyptian mythology, if you've ever studied it, where we start off with kind of like a masculine, featureless, without quality sort of god. They're personified as a man, but they represent like primordial just beginningness, nothingness. Um, so Apsu is kind of like Amun, Amun in Egyptian mythology. And then divine feminine, Tiamat, that's comparable to the Egyptian Nun, the, the beginning, the primordial waters, at least as I perceive it. So, so we start off with these two these two deities, right? And then from there, the other gods are generated. They are brought forth. They are begotten. All right. Same thing. Same thing with the Egyptian gods. Um, it's a progression. There's an Agdoad. It's called the eight or the nine, even the Ennead. They kind of, they just emerge, right? And so the problem is that the parents, they don't like the children. They're annoying. They, uh, Opsi wants to kill them because Tiamat is like, eh, I can't sleep. It's like, oh, don't worry, honey, I'll kill them off for you. Then we'll order a pizza after, okay? So yeah, Ea, one of the one of the dudes, little godlets, <laughs> Ea, he, uh, he puts Apsu to sleep with a spell, and then um, he kills Apsu. So problem solved, Yakshamash Wunderbar, right? Here's kind of the final important thing, is that Ea and his wife, is it Dam, Damshana? Damshana, I think. Um, they have a kid named Marduk, and Marduk is kind of like, he's the bell of the ball in this in this story. He's kind of like a Hercules type thing. Um, he's still a god. Like, he, I don't think he, I don't think he becomes demoted and has like a, a redemption story like Disney Hercules, but he's, he's kind of just like, he's, he's the man. He's the, uh, he's the cool guy. He's the Bilbo Baggins. Okay, I don't know. But his, his whole thing, the whole importance of him is that he actually creates humanity by sacrificing another one of the gods. For whatever reason, one of the other gods is like, yeah, I'll sign me up for the sacrifice, dog. Let's make this thing called humanity. And uh, the weird thing is, like, I don't know if, I don't know if they call the humans gods as well. Like maybe another different word for gods. But either way, Marduk assigns the men to start building Babylon for him. To start building cities and stuff. And so this is where we get into like the weird alien sort of mythology about like, the Sumerian creation myth. Sumer was one of the sub-regions. Deshe basara, deshe basara. Okay, so you remember in Batman Rises, was it Rise of the, I don't know. You know, he's like trapped in the well. It's showing like Bane or, you know, that little dungeon. It's a giant well dungeon thing for some reason. And like the cool thing to do is try to get out of the well by climbing up the little stepping stones. But then, when they're doing it, and actually, no, yeah, Christian Bale is, is trapped in there. <laughs> Christian Bale, not even Batman, just the, the actor was thrown in a well. <laughs> no, so he's trying to get out, the Batman, and uh, the, all the while, the people at the bottom, they start chanting this, they're like, de she basara, de she basara. And then he asks some dude, he's like, oh, after failing like five times, he's like, what does it mean? And he's like, the guy says, rise. How come I can't get that voice right? Rise. Oh, uh, rise. Where's my, is that gone? What is that? He says, rise. Oh, that's it, okay. And it's like, what happened to the other two words? Are you just kind of, you summarizing for us? This isn't like an official translation, right? Like, we're just saying like, it's conducive to meaning rise. Okay, that's fine. Pontius Pilate, conscious of the silence, won't deny it, violent rays of violet. And then the ambulances came because I sang. The ambulances came because I sang. They're like, crisis alert, you have activated the crisis. This is Amber Alert, son. You just sang a song and uh, it won over the hearts of millions, okay? Call in the ambulances. That's um, that's Tommy Boy by Kid Smoko. Now to close out here, guys, we're gonna sing you some Eddie Vedder. Ace of Cups, yo, this is, this is like emotional exaltation. This is, we just call it the love card, kind of like, oh, love. But that kind of captures all the other, kind of encapsulates all the other joyful emotions too. I call it exaltation. I don't know, it could be like a new, some new like exciting thing is coming into your life. So look out for that. Look out for some new exciting thing. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the exciting thing. This vlog, maybe that's it. Use your brain. All right, you know what? These necklaces are clattering.
Here's the thing. Y'all need to be able to see what I'm doing. 25 years in my life is still Trying to get up that great big hill of hope Oh, it's a C chord. Full of destination Hearts and thoughts, they fade They fade away Hearts and thoughts, they fade They fade away That's elderly woman behind the counter in a small town by Eddie Vedder. Right on. Buy some t-shirts, buy some sigil magic. See you guys in the meantime.